Hey everybody, and welcome to Whitney's Wonders. So today I've got a video that I've kind of been um, slowly preparing because I wanted to try something new on my foot wound, as most of you know that I have. So I bought a product, and it's called Meta Honey, because I joined a Pyroderma Gangrenosum um, site on Facebook, and a lot of people suggested either the Meta Honey or Manuka Honey. Manuka I could buy off Amazon. It's only available in the UK apparently, so I tried this. I'm going to try this Meta Honey first, and I'm going to document to see if it makes the wound any better as we're going along. So this is the Meta Honey stuff that I bought. So I'm going to put it on um, every so often. This is currently day one of what the wound will look like with the honey on it. So I slathered it on a bit and I put some on the top part as well. So I will keep going and we'll see if this uh, makes a difference on the wound. Okay, so we're one week into Meta Honey and the top scab has fallen off. Great news. So happy about that. So, yeah, I just put the honey right on the wound like that. The scab came off. I was pulling my pajama pants up and it got stuck and boom, it's gone. So now, just that sucker and then the top, but the top's not bad. Okay, so this is week two of using the Meta Honey. The scab has almost come in completely off this one. The skin needs to heal up a bit, I guess, underneath there. But top one's still good. Still going to put the honey on. This is just that little last piece of scab. So once that one falls off, I'm going to continue to do the honey. And then just cover it with nonstick gauze. And uh, hopefully she gets better in time. So I've been continuing to put the Meta Honey on the wound area every day. I clean it with saline wash and then put the honey right on the wounds. It's looking a lot better. Scabs are coming off. Things are doing uh, something down there. Um, it's not 100% yet. I don't think it will be for a while, but at least hopefully we're at the, uh, the tail end of the journey here. So I'm going to attach at the end of this video just... Um, pictures of my whole journey from start to finish so you can see kind of the progression of what these things can be they can be a lot bigger too I'm glad mine kind of just I mean I'm not glad but I'm happy that it just is in one spot it's kind of a difficult spot because when you walk you know it's uh it's right in the crease there but um yeah for the last three days I've had like no pain on it barely uh I haven't had to take any Tylenol so I think the honey is doing some good stuff so um, a plus plus review on the meta honey. I will use it for scrapes cuts everything going forward if I get anything more on my feet So, uh, thanks for watching guys. Hope it didn't gross you out too much Hope that uh, it brings some awareness to this type of autoimmune disorder, but uh, Yeah, that's about it. So we'll keep putting the honey on I'm going back to work soon and uh, fingers crossed This is my pyroderma gangrenosum journey <laughs>